Question 18. Modern science is built on the process of posing hypotheses and testing them against observations. In essence, attempting to show that the hypotheses are incorrect. Nothing brings more recognition than overthrowing conventional wisdom. It is accordingly unsurprising that some scientists are skeptical of the widely accepted predictions of global warming. What is instead remarkable is that with the hundreds of researchers striving to make breakthroughs in climatology, very few find evidence that global warming is unlikely. All right, so we know first step, argument or facts. And here we actually have just a statement of facts. So nothing for us to do here. We proceed to the question stem. The information above provides the most support for which one of the following statements. So most support, this is a must be true question. So looking for the answer choice that is directly supported by the information in the passage, let's take a look at A. Most scientists who are reluctant to accept the global warming hypothesis are not acting in accordance with the accepted standards of scientific debate. And you notice we have nothing in the passage that supports A, accepted standards of scientific debate. All we know is that modern science is built on the process of posing hypotheses and testing them against observations. And it's remarkable that with hundreds of research striving to make breakthroughs in climatology, very few can find evidence that global warming is unlikely. So you notice A is not supported, it is not necessarily true, so A would be eliminated. Which brings me to B. Most researchers in climatology have a substantial motive to find evidence that would discredit the global warming hypothesis. N is B supported by the information in the passage. And you notice the second sentence tells us that nothing brings more recognition than overthrowing conventional wisdom. So, therefore, most researchers in climatology have substantial motive to find evidence that would discredit global warming hypothesis because, again, this substantial motive would be the recognition that overthrowing conventional wisdom that global warming is true would bring them. So B is directly supported by the information in the passage, so B would be the correct answer. But again, let's make sure, checking C. There is evidence that conclusively shows that the global warming hypothesis is true. And again, that is never stated in the passage. No support for C. All we know is that very few have found evidence that global warming is unlikely, but nothing about evidence conclusively showing that global warming is true. So C would be eliminated. Which brings me to D. Scientists who are skeptical about global warming have not offered any alternative hypotheses to explain climatology data. And again, you notice that is not supported by the information in the passage. All we know is that very few scientists have found evidence that global warming is unlikely. Nothing about whether they have offered any alternative hypotheses to explain climatological data. So D does not follow and D would be eliminated. Again, not necessarily true. Which brings me to E. Research in global warming is primarily driven by a desire for recognition in the scientific community, and again, not supported by the information in the passage. All we know is that nothing brings more recognition than overthrowing conventional wisdom, but to say that it's primarily driven by a desire for recognition, not supported, so E would be eliminated, again, because E is not necessarily true.